So this is what we're going to use for the rollers and the motor, I hope. We'll see how that works out. It's uh, an old sander that I've got. It's um, so old now that I managed to saw through it with the sandpaper there. Which kind of wrecks it. It's because the belt tension was wrong and the sandpaper went that way and sawed through the body. Uh, and it's clogged, so it keeps jamming. So what we're going to do is pull this thing to pieces. First thing to do, take off the sandpaper. Just get a release handle there. The sandpaper comes straight off. Now it's got a set of screws here that we're going to have to undo to get to the mechanism because obviously we want to get to these things. Uh, incidentally, these rollers, so see there they are and there, they look like plastic to me. Uh, we're going to coat those with something to give them a different um, different level on the Travel Electric series so we actually get this thing to uh, to generate. There we go. Just cover plates. Just comes undone with the screws. Take them all out. You might find it's a bit stiff if you want to do this. If you don't want to use an old one or you don't have an old one, you can actually buy these for about ten pounds. So they're not that expensive as, as a mechanism for running the Vandergraaff if you want to. Well, I probably would actually, to be honest, just because there's so many useful bits in it that actually repeating that would be a bit of a challenge. And it's all readily available, so why not? Go for it. Clearly something still holding that. Or is it just stiffness? It's just stiffness. You can often investigate these things just by having a look around, seeing what there is. They're actually clamping it into place. In this case, there we go. It was glued to the fan belt, which appears to have melted. Yep, there you go. That's what's wrong with it. It's all just overheated, melted up. It takes a bit of getting out. See? That's got it turning again. If your belt is ruined, you can actually buy spares for these. There we go, it's the fan belt ruined. This bit here looks like it's held on with that nut there. What do we need? It's about an 8mm, doesn't it? There we go. Ah. Very often these things are quite tight, so what you need to do is um, grip that pulley with the pair of pump pliers. I seem to be tightening that. There you go. Seems to be undoing it quite nicely. Not sure which way around this goes actually to be honest. Don't seem to want to come out. on it. Let me this one goes. Right, yeah, takes that off. Okay, that's going to be screwed on there. So we need some way of undoing that. That usually turns the roll at the bottom. So if you give it something, something in underneath to catch the roller. It's a bit tight. We should be able to get that off. Yeah, there you go. So what I did there was just jam that in to catch that roller, put a bit of pressure on it, and it gave me enough to actually get this off. You can see that that snapped as well. 
uh, we don't need this bit anyway, so leave that bit off. There we go. That's just a fan. Helps keep it cool. We've got some more returning screws in there. Get them out. It's be about four of them. The motor incidentally is housed in this section. Look at that section there with that pulley is what houses the motor. We're actually trying to get to the rollers, see what they're like. There'll be two rollers either end and there'll be some kind of support carriage to keep them in between. Move there. It's a lot of this stuff will be glued up and stiff. And you can see the bit that I'm tearing at. The bit there you go. And that's the bit that was sawn through. Ooh, that's tough. Leave it under that. That'll come. Just glued on. Actually, it's glued on by its own heat. The fact that it's ruined. Look at that. See if I can get this off. Should be able to. You get something under there to purchase it against it. There you go, it's coming. Man, this is stiff. I wonder if it was gluing up. jammed in. Alright, I've got a circlip in there. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little circlip just there. It's clearly holding that in. That looks like a worm gear driving that. It certainly is. That should just be shoved on actually. That uh, there you go, yep. A roller bearing. Probably need that actually. Save that somewhere. It'll be useful. Okay, 